Number 5. Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R The ZZR-1400 or Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14 and ZX-14R is a motorcycle in the Ninja Sport Bike series from the Japanese manufacturer Kawasaki that was their most powerful sport bike as of 2006. It was introduced at the 2005 Tokyo Motor Show and released for the 2006 model year as a replacement for the Kawasaki ZZR1200. The ZZR1400 is capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. Number 4. Suzuki Hayabusa The Suzuki Hayabusa is a sports motorcycle made by Suzuki since 1999. It immediately won acclaim as the world's fastest production motorcycle, with a top speed of 303 to 312 km per hour. In 1999, fears of a European regulatory backlash or import ban led to an informal agreement between the Japanese and European manufacturers to govern the top speed of their motorcycles at an arbitrary limit. The media reported value for the speed agreement in miles per hour was consistently 186 miles per hour, while in kilometers per hour it varied from 299 to 303 kilometers per hour, which is typical given unit conversion rounding errors. <laughs> Number 3. Ducati Supersport the Ducati Supersport and SS are a series of air-cooled four-stroke desmodromic two-valve nine-tidig L-twin motorcycles made by Ducati since 1988. A limited-edition Supersport called the Super Light was sold in 1992. The name harked back to the round-cased 1973 Ducati 750 Supersport and the 1975 square case 750 and 900 Supersport. The Appalachian SS was applied only to the later belt-drive-based models. <laughs> Number Mu Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX. The Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX, which you'll be just as happy riding two up with a partner on a cross country trip as you will be tearing it around your local track like a demon. Kawasaki has always given its sport bikes a lot of grunt, and the Ninja 1000 SX is no exception. It features a 1043cc inline 4 engine that produces 124.3 horsepower at 9,500 revolutions per minute and 75.4 pounds of torque. <laughs> Number 1. Kawasaki Ninja Z900 When Kawasaki introduced the Z900 in 2017, the plan was to replace the Z800 and Z1000 models with a machine that would deliver the best aspects of both in performance and usability. The Z900 has been updated for 2020, and now that we're a few years out from it stepping into the spotlight, it seems like a good time to take a ride and reflect on whether it really is the best of both worlds. Before we get going here, I should recognize that the Z1000 is still available in Europe. However, it's not for sale in the United States anymore, hence the past tense. From a specification standpoint, let's remember the Z900's former siblings for what they were. 